Hi folks, it's Richard from Inclusive Driving. Just want to give you some information about filter arrows at traffic lights. Now a green filter arrow serves a couple of purposes. It tells you two things. Number one, it tells you that you can proceed in the direction that the arrow is pointing, even if there's a red traffic light in another direction. So let's say you're at a traffic light and you've got a green arrow pointing to the left with a red traffic light as well, you can still turn left. If you've got a green filter arrow pointing to the right and there's another red traffic light, you can turn right. Now the other thing that a filter arrow tells you is that the other directions that might be affecting you are going to have a red traffic light. So essentially, it tells you that you can reasonably expect to have a clear path for your left turn or your right turn and that you shouldn't be needing to give way to other traffic. Now obviously we always proceed with caution and if there is other traffic getting in our way then we're going to give way to it. But the other important thing is, is if there is a green traffic light as in a normal traffic, it's a bit like this one coming up, where it's just a green circle, you don't need to wait for a filter arrow if you're turning right or left. Now there's a bit of a confusing junction coming up here, which is why I'm out here today. What we have is a green circular traffic light at the stop line. That tells you, you can go in any direction and then the repeater traffic light opposite is a green filter arrow but remember that is telling you that you should have a clear path so you don't need to wait for the green filter arrow so if i just hold back here hold back a little bit so you can see both traffic lights here the first traffic light the one that's closest to us is just a green circle so that tells us we can go over the stop line we're going to ignore the repeater traffic light because although that's pointing ahead only that's kind of irrelevant because the first traffic light the one that's closest to us the one that's controlling the stop line is a green circle so we can go in any direction now we don't need to wait for the green arrow if we have a gap that we can safely go through then we're going to go traffic seems to be slowing is that because somebody's reversing out it is it's the red car now what might happen is the oncoming traffic might get a red light and because there's a lot of traffic behind us the traffic lights are probably going to realize that there's lots of us waiting to turn right so it's likely to give us the green filter arrow pointing to the right but I've got a gap here so I don't need, actually need to wait for it Well, that's all for now, and I'll see you on another video very soon.